I think it's going to make gameplay a whole lot faster. And for content creators, for sure, the Rebirth Bandits, little Ashika Island Bandits, I'm talking about the little YY360, woo! Yeah. All of them, oh, they gonna have a ball with this. Yeah. They gonna have a ball with this. Eli. We are Trey and Jay, and in today's show, in our podcast, we're going to be talking about MW. There's been a whole bunch of leaky faucet on Twitter, information that I feel nobody should have access to just yet, because we we created partners in the program. We ain't been invited to nothing, not yet. I seen I ain't been like you want to play early, nothing. But we seeing people leaking footage early, so bro. MW3 story mode somehow then got leaked already. Uh huh. Multiplayer got leaked already. Uh huh. Different, you know. We'll get into it. Let's 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 talk about it. Shout out to the kid. Uh, the, the, the the one of the guests for today is the kid D Rob. What's up, man? Yeah, Sersky. Sersky Ante. D is somebody that's a, a super sweat in Call ah. of Duty. Somebody that, if y'all don't know, we picked up a long time ago to start running Call with us. And this is our third, our, our, our permanent third that we always run with on stream. So if anybody's opinion I respect about the game is d Rob. He's helped me in multiple ways to getting better at the game. If you guys don't know, I started playing Call of Duty about five years ago. It should be six by now. But five years ago, I started playing Call of um, and he was one of those people that really helped me to like understand the game, like like especially like when I got into like year two, year three, to really understand like what I was trying to do, e- execute my plan and, and learn my play style. Um, Jay is a uh, he's a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm not gonna tell you today. I'm actually you not, just did. I'm not gonna no. I didn't. I didn't. I said. I said. You did. I said, you, ch- did. Ch- you did, bro. You you, you are did. in the middle of that. Ch- ch- I come on, man. It's cheater. That's what you tried I, to no, call me. No, I said cheetah. Cause that's how fast you be moving in the game. I would never do you like that. You my that little it. brother. I would never that do you like that. It. Come on, little bro. MW three is coming out in November. Correct? Is it? Right? Trey, is it? I'm gonna be real. You know, I don't be paying attention to <laughs> none of that. <laughs> All I do is edit, edit, and edit. Deal with D Rob's nonsense and wow. trolling me, and now I'm working on and beating him in Madden. So expect that journey to happen. But this ain't about that. This is about COD. Stay on top of it, man. It comes out in November. There's so much leaky faucet. And leaky faucet, again, is, is, is information that, that, that is out now. And there's, there's no taking it back. So let's go for the core things that we already know for sure, for sure people love. Slide canceling is back. Now let's let's do something. Let's do something crazy. Let's do see here he go. All right, go ahead. You you gonna do it on this show and MVPs? Here he go. Hey, speaking of which, real quick, shameless plug. Make sure y'all check out MVP TV. Okay. Right. Train J B over there reacting to the top five plays of the week. We do. Make sure y'all check that out. Link's gonna be in the description. Anyways. Go ahead. You look like an old young Nick. <clears throat> yeah, just like Machi, huh? Okay. Yeah, watch it. That's my dog. Watch your mouth. That's my son. Oh, okay. Watch your mouth. Oh, okay. All right, look. I'm going to do some new, fellas. Every time we, 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 we speak about a subject within the game, any type of leakiness, I'm going to ask y'all straight out, W or L? Chat, feel free to jump in as well, too. Slight canceling back. Fat W. d Rob. Mm, 50 50. See, and this is what I'm saying. It's like, this is what I'm saying, WM, because all of us not going to. Mind you, I'm the oldest person in here. But he acts like he's so old. He does not like having to use all his hands or fingers on the controller. That's because he played claw. He, if you ask him, he prefers MW2 type of movement. He prefers that better because he plays claw. He could just get a scuff controller, but he'd rather play claw. D, why? Just get a scuff, bruh. I'm not learning paddles, bruh. You act like it's going to take you long to learn. I got to see. See, look. Okay. I'm saying 50 50 right now because uh-huh. I got to see which version of slide cancel is going to be. Okay. What does that mean? Now, if it's 2019. <laughs> mm hmm. 
Oof. Wait, oof? why? 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 Oof? I don't know. I might. I might. It might. It might. It might retire me. I'm not gonna get to you. It might retire me, bro. But I've seen you play Battlefield, and I've seen you play Battlefield 2042, and that game is arguably way faster than MW2, right? Mm, and there's. I'm talking yeah, about 2019. I'm but talking you're about 2019. slide canceling it. I've watched you slide cancel. I don't slide cancel on Battlefield. So you've never slid cancel in front of me. No. It's a it's a difference between slide slide jump and slide jump. That, that claw is a that is a big difference, sir. Okay, so why so 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 what what is the issue with what's the issue with slide canceling for you as a claw player? What's the issue with what's the issue with it? Oh, just just too much of my fingers, bro. Too much. So why not look? Why you know, not bro, just you get remember. a paddle then? Oh, you got to remember, 2019, bro, every step you took, you was Sly right, canceling. You was like, yeah. like, after a while, it just builds up, and like, you know. But okay. MW2, I haven't had to buy a new controller. Okay. Since the release. So, I mean, <laughs> I don't know. Like I said, I got just got to see how, like. He's an old man. The speed. I got to see the uh -huh. speed of the game. Uh-huh. What type of slide cancel is going to be. Then you know that's why I'm fifty fifty on it, but I guess it's overall for the community it's a W because I mean that's what everybody complained about. Everybody complained about movement, 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 movement. So right. that coming back for the community is is a is a huge W. I will okay. say that. So so can we can I say one of the things that I heard is it's supposed <clears throat> to be slide canceling on steroids, like it's what the I heard they too. said it's on it's on steroids. I mean, compared to what we've had to play for Modern Warfare 2, you know, I'm pretty sure that could that's a bit exaggerated, but yeah, I'm pretty sure it, slide canceling is a well-known felt thing now right. than what it was in 2019. I'm pretty sure it's going to be a difference. Pretty sure. So has there in in call history? Let's let's go down the line of call literally. Has there ever been a call like the term steroids? That's a big that's a big claim. That's so, what I'm saying. Steroids. What Call of Duty? Can you name right now where you was like, yo, this movement was on steroids? Arguably MW2019 or AW, in my personal opinion. Okay. And if, if we're saying if, oh, AW, when y'all was just playing it, only, like, yeah, what? only oh, them two. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So, AW, B so BO3 wasn't, BO3 wasn't on steroids? No. no. Okay. Okay. BO3 was, BO3 was like, think of, think of AW and MW 2019 as Ja Morant, and right. then think of... You use Ja Morant a lot of your jokes, bro. Oh. Like, your jokes are always dark. <laughs> when, when you free, oh, I, go ahead, bro. Because I already know, I already know, I already know yeah. where he going down. Bro, you, or you bro. could just say, AW was a dog without the leash. Yeah. <laughs> and BO3 was a dog with the leash. Okay. Okay. Best way to be put. Truthfully, best way to be put. Okay. So so let's let's add to this. Sly canceling is back. That means that movement is gonna be way more, way more uh, uh advertised. It's gonna be used at its highest. And here you go. Look. look hey, listen, first and foremost, you know what I mean? Yeah. This ain't even just for me. This is for any streamers, content creators that are going to be playing on console or right. that are going to be playing on mouse and keyboard. I'm going to give y'all this forewarning now. If you have the time to put in on the game, mm -hmm. please do so. Because I'm putting everybody in a killing Twitch, TikTok, YouTube streamer video. I'm just letting you know now. I'm giving you a heads up. Because what I'm going to do with this movement, just saying. And also, just, just, this. just for y'all. Because, you know, it's going to be a whole lot of TikToks, FB.GGs, YTs, right. kick faces. Right. So I'm just letting y'all know as well. But... We got movement back, man. Okay, like, not only, real, but like, not only movement though. Hold like, on, I I'm, can really get. Hey, every question. Listen, every question I, I ask really you, get crazy now. It's gonna be layered on top of layer. Big W though. Okay. Big w. So if if movement is back, right, right, right. They're also adding 150. Now wait in this. 150 HP mm -hmm. plus 50 health. So that means that we gonna went from 100 health. To the now 150. 150. Now, D-Rob, I heard you bring this up a lot in MW2. You kept saying that, like, pubs was terrible.
because the help was too low. At least for you, somebody that doesn't really need to play with slide canceling. You, we know you don't need to slide cancel, so you're one of those people that can take MW2, still go over to MW3, and still not have to slide cancel and still win. Okay. Does this benefit? How, did, how does this benefit a player like you that's a claw player that, that, that now the health is 150, their player movement is back, but you know that the game is still going to roughly play like MW2 in some type of way. Like, how, how does this benefit you as a claw player? I mean, it don't just benefit me. It benefits everybody. Like, no, no, no I ain't talking about that, them other people. I'm talking, I'm talking about just you specifically. I'm just saying, overall, bro, overall 150, huh? 150 health, it should, it should always be 150 and above. Like, the times of 100 health has passed us. Okay. Like, you shouldn't die in a bullet. Like, it, it's not hardcore. Like, it should always be 150. So, like, them bring, them making it that is a huge W, in my opinion, because it's okay. it leads to a bigger skill gap, which games need. Okay. Jay, same question. How does this benefit? How does, 100, how does going from 100, from MW2 to 150, how does this benefit the game now? Like, what does it do for the game at this place now, especially now that there's movement coming back and on steroids, what does the 150 health mean? Okay, so there's there's multiple answers to this question. First and foremost, I had tweeted about this because a sub actually tagged us in it. Shout out to Kyra. Right, right. He tagged us on Twitter about this, and I gave my, my thoughts. And it was just a brief tweet, but I had said something along the lines of, in my opinion, I feel like, like D-Rob said, we're past the era of 100 health. Like, we're now moving in a direction where more health equals a bigger skill gap. Now, including movement being back in the Call of Duty, which let's please promise to never tamper with movement ever again. Can we please never go back to just straight raw boots on the please, ground? Please, bro. Please. Okay. I feel like that plus 50 health not only is going to make pubs more enjoyable, but I also feel like that plus 50 health, and I tweeted this, it can actually be the decision or the decider between a viral clip or a blooper or even you winning thousands of dollars in a tournament or you losing. Right. So that plus 50 health can really help you more than what you think, whether you're going for content, whether you're playing in a tournament, whatever the case may be. I feel like 150 health should be the standard health in all Call of Duty shooters now whether it's pubs or battle royale and then battle royale the health should be 250. like why again we we don't need to be playing a a a multiplayer game where you're literally getting two tapped or right, you're getting right. one tapped i, I just don't yeah. feel like especially that's, that's enjoyable anymore true yeah. them lmgs was cooking me at the beginning of mw2 man you, you saw me i was i lost four a lot of times uh in mm -hmm. mw2 so that 100 health i agree with you guys uh I didn't play all the old cards. No. But I played these ones. The ones where they kept going back to 100, I played those, and I hated it. I absolutely hated it. Now, with now this branches off into a whole, into a, a go ahead, sir. Just want to add go, real quick. Go ahead. You remember why BO3 was so enjoyable as well? I didn't play BO3. I'm sorry, BO4. It was 150 health. That's why I loved it. But you, you could do so much, bro. You could actually you could get away yeah. from a gunfight if you were trying to run away from something or trying or, or whatever the case may be. Like you could actually get away. Now yeah. with this whole skill-based matchmaking pattern, which we already know it lives and thrives in Call of Duty, that 50 health can really be the negator sometimes or a yeah. good handful of times between that skill-based matchmaking pattern. So big W. Now that we have 150 health, the biggest problem with MW2 was that having 100 health, you could not get away from your opponent because your tactical sprint would never reset. So it didn't matter if you slid. It didn't matter if you dolphin dove. It didn't matter if you ADS. It didn't matter if you elbow to fly. It didn't matter if you threw tactical and then broke the tactical. It never reset. It is now going back to 2019's mm -hmm. slide, slide, jump, tactical sprint reset. Mm -hmm. How does that affect the overall gameplay? And how does it affect content creators now? See, that's a, I hit that hit you with a hit you with another level mm -hmm. to that one. Yeah, you ain't even know. Go ahead. If we're talking about gameplay, I personally think it's going to make gameplay a whole lot faster. Okay. Because one of the biggest problems with Modern Warfare 2 is the game is just slow. 
Agreed. And a lot of these 6v6 maps would be much better in Modern Warfare 2 if they were 12v12 and not 6v6. Because when you play 6v6 in Modern Warfare 2, unless you're playing Shipment, they're really just a snooze fest. Like, they added that new map. I think it's like Punta Mar. And we played it. Buns. Buns. Keep going. Buns. They've also added the the old Call of Duty 4 map, Strike. I haven't played it, but I can just tell just from how the community plays these games, these Call of Duties now with these remastered maps, they don't hit the same. Right, right. So I personally feel like with now you being able to reset your tactical sprint consecutively, mm -hmm. I think it's going to make gameplay a whole lot faster. And for content creators... <sighs> For sure, the Rebirth Bandits, little Ashika Island Bandits. I'm talking about the little YY 360. Woo! Yeah. All of them. Oh, they're going to have a ball with this. Yeah. They're going to have a ball with this. But when you talk about, like, actual content creators that are, like, tourney players, wager players, I think they're going to be happy about this as well because now they're finally going to feel like you're moving in the game. Because mm -hmm. one of the biggest, you know, differences of what made Warzone 1 so impactful compared to Warzone 2 was the movement. When you could find when you finally learn. Now let's let's be honest. Nobody knew what slide canceling was at first in Warzone 1. Don't get it fooled. Yeah. We were not slide canceling when Warzone 1 2019 came out. Slide cancel didn't come until like 2 or 3 months later. But once you finally figured out how to do it and then you actually did it to somebody it literally became the norm of movement where it was called breaking people's cameras. So I'm personally glad that we're back at that point because I feel like having a, a consistent tax sprint, mm -hmm. having the ability to feel like you're moving faster, I think is going to make for better TikTok viral clips, more the game is also going to be more appealing to watch. Right. And I think it's going to be more enjoyable to watch as well. Uh, now, this is it's the same question, but it's a little bit different because D Rob doesn't really use slide canceling like that. Like that. So, D, for you, the tactical spent resetting. How does this affect you? For somebody that doesn't care to really slide cancel like that, how does this affect you with it now resetting on command? Like, how do you reset your tactical sprint as a claw player that doesn't spam slide canceling? I mean, if it's in the game, I'm going to spam it. Like, I don't want to, but, you know, if right. it's in the game, I, I got, like, you got to, or you're just not going to get kills or whatever the case may be, or you just got to slow play, uh, slow play stuff a lot more, okay. like FIFA. So, I mean, FIFA is, like, the also perfect events, but, like, he he didn't really slide cancel like that in, in 2019 or Warzone 1. So, like, I don't know. Like, I think... I think it should have always be an option to reset your tactical sprint. I don't know why it wasn't an option in this game. Like, right. I don't know like why I got to be stuck in quicksand, but I feel like even without the side cancel or whatever the case may be, you should always be able to reset your tactical sprint. I don't know why that changed. Right, I agree. So like, I don't, like that's my take on it. Okay. Uh, ne all right. So so let, let's let's talk about some of the maps in multiplayer. We don't know anything about Warzone. I don't think I don't think there's really been no information about Warzone, right? All right, Kurt. So let's let's talk about the multiplayer. So it says MP3, uh, MP MP3, <laughs> MP will reportedly have MW2's 2009 launch maps fully remastered on day one. That would include Afghan, Derail, Estate, Favela, High Rise, Invasion, Karachi. Query, Rundown, Rust, Scrapyard, Skid Row, Subbase, Terminal, under, Underpass, and Wasteland. Now, fellas, I did not get to enjoy this, family. I didn't. Sad to say. Make sure you still follow the channel just because. And subscribe. Please. Help me. T tell me in the comments how great these maps were back in the day. Now, to y'all, what does this mean? These are all remastered. These are all remade. We've been through 2019. We've been through MW2. Damn, now we're getting we're? We're getting, <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. We get into MW3. Hmm. What does this mean? Like, what, what does this mean? Okay, we're no longer doing the Piccadilly maps. We're no longer doing, you know, the, the these, uh, uh, what was, uh, 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 what's that map that was on MW2? The, the, the freeway map, Saint, what's it called? Whatever the map was where all the cars blew up. Like, um, 
You know oh, what I'm talking about the border. Border. Yeah. Yeah. Talking about okay, border. Okay, so there's no they're do, they're done with it. They just said, look, y'all hate when we try to do something brand new. Y'all hate when we try to make new maps. We just gonna only bring the remastered. You just said a statement like, look at how people play these new maps now. That, like the old maps we ran, it's not gonna play. What does this? What does this mean? So I'm gonna put this in battle rap terms. Okay. With them, reportedly. This, is, this isn't confirmed. It's not confirmed. Reportedly having MW2 tw 2009 launch maps, this is equivalent to Conceited coming back to Battle Rap. Right. Okay. This is equivalent to Briz Rawson coming back to Battle Rap. This is equivalent okay. to someone, a Battle Rapper, who hasn't been outside that is now coming back to Battle Rap that hasn't battled in years. What this means for the call community, this is a very, very, very great thing to hear. Because although this is a new generation of gamers, if you were blessed enough to play Modern Warfare 2009, right. these maps are going to be like instant nostalgia for you. Now, of course, they're going to be remastered, but they're, we know Call of Duty. We know Call of Duty to remaster a map, maybe add some uh, extra door or extra little room here or there, but the yeah, core little, foundation yeah, yeah. of the map, it never changes. So just like uh like Dome, like Shipment. Shipment in MW2 played different than the one in 2019, but the core foundation of it still looks the exact same. So when it yeah. comes to us having basically almost all of the MW2 maps as remastered maps in day one, right? this is going to be a great thing to know coming into the game because now we're not going to, we don't have to, as of now, it's not confirmed, we, we don't have to worry about a St. Petrograd or a Piccadilly yep. or, 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 or the bridge map or a border map. We know what maps we're getting. So yeah. if you really want to educate yourself, whether this is true or not, I personally would tell you, suggest, take a trip on YouTube and actually look up these maps. Yeah. Because really, the only bad map out of all of these was Underpass. Underpass will forever be a skip. I don't care what Call of Duty it's in. <laughs> that map sucks. Hey, the fact that you're already calling it out now in the games, it's not even out. Okay, all right, so, so let's say this. Let's say this. D-Rob, I want to ask you this question because, again, I did not play any of the old Call of Duties. So from the golden age, let's call it the golden era of Call of Mm -hmm. MW1 through 3, the original saga. M BO1 through 3, the original, all those original sagas. Oh, I mean, it's not a new one, but I'm just saying. MBO4. MBO, well, I played 4, but I yeah. didn't play 3. Oh, okay. okay. So, D, do you played MW 2019 and you've played 2. We've seen the remakes. Is it time for them to, yes, remake the maps, re remaster them, but also... Remake them, but also remaster. Like, meaning there should be more flank routes. There should be more staircases. There should be, like, you know what I mean? Like, it shouldn't just be the original way because I, because. Not we, just copy and paste, like, where you could get on the same right. head glitch, the same glitch spots. No, it shouldn't be that. D, be that. D how, how do you feel about them remaking and remastering? Um. That was a strong honestly. Problem. I don't know because like then again bro like don't get me wrong the new maps are horrible like whoever right. is making new maps is just like they just need to stop but, it Mercado's pretty good though but then, the, Mercado's pretty good MW2 but then but then on the other hand it's like these maps when they were played at they prime it uh -huh. was no skill based matchmaking right it was none of that so like yes they are good maps but especially with like the new generation of COD players and how people play it today, like how are these maps going to flow in today's games? Right. In today's pubs, I would say. Like, and then also, you got to pray MW3. It, well, hopefully MW3 is fast because all of these games were fast for these maps. Right. Because it's also not like they was all small maps. But if we're not doing like the traditional three lane maps, I think these are the best maps that isn't considered three lane maps. Okay. So, I mean, that's how I feel about it. So does this, out of all these maps that I've seen, uh, in the last two years, the most played maps have been Shoot House and Shipment. 
I see neither shoot house or shipment in this. Shipment will pretty. I'm I'm a hundred percent sure they're gonna ask shoot house. I mean shipment. Should shipment 100% be sure. on release day, or should shipment be later later on to give people opportunity to actually play these remastered maps? Knowing them, they're gonna put it in the mid season. So yes, push it in the in the mid season update. Because then if you break, if you put it in the game this early, because people have been playing shipment for this long, that's really all they know. So especially like these new COD fans, mm -hmm. them playing shipment, it will feel more comfortable for them than playing these older maps that us as OG COD fans know, remember, and love, but they don't know anything about them. So to them, these maps are their Piccadilly. Right, okay. And shipment is their, like, what we know. So right. I'm pretty sure they're going to... They're going to drop shipment in the mid-season update of the game or at some point, maybe like a month later in the game. Okay. Now, Shoot House, I don't know if Shoot House is coming back. I'm pretty sure it will, though, because... I would assume so. Wait, there, which, there is... Can I show? Which card is Rust? Which which card had Rust in it? MW2. MW2. Okay, so... I, and I was wondering, why was that map not... is included oh, in that so list? Why included. wasn't Rust I'm included in MW2? It was in 2019. But I don't know yeah, why. Yeah, it, it, is on, it is in 2. It's just on the Warzone map. Ah, you're right. Dang, I forgot all about that. Oh, it's yep, not yep, yep, I forgot yep, all about that. Yep, it is. Yep, you're right. Yeah. Right. That's see, that's why we got you here, yep. old man. Because you be know stuff. If I'm being completely honest, if I'm them, yeah, I'm not putting shit in the game till like season two, season three ish. Why? Because if you think about it, like, I mean, Russ, Russ basically is shit, man. Just with that crane in the middle. Yeah, it's just with that with that crap in the middle. It then like it flowed I, good I, I, in 2019, by the way. Yeah, I'm, I, honestly, yeah, I, I wouldn't push him in the game. I I wouldn't personally. Okay. I mean, if I do, it would be like season two, right. season two and a half, three ish, maybe. Because like, because the thing is, if you want MP, if you want MP to succeed or whoever who's ever is over MP, once you push him in the game, you, your MP dies. Like none of the other maps is gonna get played yep. unless it's like True. competitively. Right. But once you add shipment, I mean game's over because that's all people gonna ask about or care about is when is shipment coming back in the game. Right. When is shipment? When is shipment? When is shipment twenty four seven? Like So, so you're telling me that, the, them, that these remastered maps it. can't stand they these it'd be like, nah, I ain't gonna play shipment, bro. I really wanna play the real maps, like I feel like these That's what maps, I said. It, it all good. depends on the flow of MW3. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. They these these maps have to play good to where you get to a point where every map hits. When it right. came to Black Ops 4, we weren't only just playing Nuketown. At one point, we weren't even playing Nuketown. Heck nah. We was playing, nah, we was playing Fire regular. Range, Hacienda. Yeah. Like, we yep. weren't even playing Nuketown <laughs> at all yeah. because we just loved the flow of those three lane maps. Yeah. So... I feel like I want to say these maps are going to be they're going to of course they're going to be remastered but again like D-Rob said these maps have to flow well to where you don't need to depend on playing shipment just to have fun. Right, right. And I feel like with these maps, you know, these really are fan favorite maps like Estate, Favela, High Rise. High Rise is literally downtown in Warzone 2. Right. So you have like Skid Row, Scrapyard, which we've played Scrapyard in MW 2019, and Terminal, which is a, a, a fan favorite requested map for years at this point. So now having these maps back, I, I really hope they flow well because I personally don't want to have to just depend on playing Shipment all year long. I really don't. Just to get that real MP like like dope hit, I don't. Yeah. I, I personally don't. I want to. I want to go back to playing like six v six, twelve v twelve, and just dibble and dabble. You know, honestly. Okay, so here, here, here's where we get to the to the to the real uh, uh, meat of the game. Uh, perks uh, categorized into pieces of gear, which is uh, like helmets, vests, gloves, and boots. Boots. Now y'all was telling me that the only time that you guys had an opportunity to pick gear was Ghost in AW, correct? Ghost AW. I think IW mm -hmm. and other than that, yeah. Yeah. So so with being able to pick clothes, 
I feel like this is I feel like this is a new way for them to to implement the store. Like they've done the last uh, since 2019, they've done the store as blueprints. They've just done the whole blueprint system. No, they've done it since uh since Cold War. They've just done this whole blueprint system, right? Mm-hmm. They're now stepping into another a new level of now nah, we want we we want to do more. So we want to give you all the op- opportunity to do like clothes. Uh, uh, like clothes and stuff. Does this mean that like are we getting a creator operator? Like I'm just asking y'all if y'all feel this way because if they're giving us the opportunity to do helmet, vests, gloves, and boots, that means that we still have four perks from MW2. That's nothing new. All they're doing is saying that you can your perks will actually be a cosmetic thing that changes. Mm. How do you feel with this new system? Do you feel like there's a hidden agenda here? Like okay, maybe we might be able to create our own operator. Which now we go to the store mm. and we're able to, you know, buy like okay, we you get a whole outfit, a whole suit, and you know, and then you can buy like different, or mm. or is it just like, we just want to be able to have you spend money. It's the same perks, but we just want you to spend a little, you know, just spend like now it's gonna be twenty eight hundred call points instead mm. of it being twenty four hundred. Like how how do you actually feel about this uh, uh, gear system? I was kind of sketched on it at first when I first heard it. I'm gonna be honest. I was kind of sketch on it. But now that I'm thinking about it, if the perks are categorized into gear, I mean, of course, we're just going to adapt, learn what, you know, what we want to intend with our operators, with our gear, and we're going to grow, we're going to elevate, get better, and teach you guys what you should, you know, rock and all that other stuff. But if they're also going in the direction where cosmetically your outfit matters this year, right, right. where you actually feel like, you put together an outfit for your operator, like how it was in AW, because it was great going into di- the direction of having real operators. But when you've played a game like AW, where you could literally customize everything from your helmet to your pants, to your exosuit, to your gloves, to your shoes, not everybody looked the same. Right. And you saw the skill gap where if you saw a full clown outfit, with the little clown mask and everything, you knew exactly what you was getting yourself into. But now we're going off of operators. If you see a black noir, the rose skin, if you see a yeah, homelander, you know they sweats. So now it's like there's really no type of like creativity with who you're rocking because if you're not using this operator, you're not visible. Or you're using this operator, they their colors are too bright, so you're vi- you're more visible. So it's like, okay. Now let's go back into this direction where I think, honestly, it would be great to go in this direction where everything on your outfit matters. Now, of course, we still need to know, like, what the full definition is of these perks categorized by your gear, et cetera, et cetera, which Mm -hmm. I personally feel like, not us right now, but I think we might be overthinking it because we do have a habit of doing that as COD fans where what we're thinking, we're thinking futuristic, and COD is just like, no, 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 come come here, come here. We're we going to give you what you want, yeah. but it's not going to be like in 2035. No, 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 yeah. no, no, It's no, not no, futuristic. No, no. It's simplistic. It's simplistic. Yeah. We're yeah. going to keep it simple, but we're going to add some yeah. new. Yeah. So, I mean, I think it, it, I think your gear will matter, personally. I think your gear will matter. Um, but I just don't know. I'm really hoping that the perks aren't limited to specific gear, meaning like, you can only have dead silence if you wear boots. Me personally, I'm not a boots type of guy. Right, right. Can I put my daddy on like a pair of chucks, on like some dunks? Like, and if we're gonna have gear, can we have some modern gear, please? Yeah, I do. I, I can we have some have, modern yes, gear? Yes, bro. Can can I have an option to rock gloves but still have my fingers showing? Like, can I can I have an option to take my gloves off? Yeah. Like, like I really feel like if you're gonna do this, then the gear should matter, and there should be different types of gear earned. Throughout the entire season, yeah, seasons, like, like an option, like like let's say if I bought a pair of gloves, it should not matter what the gloves are. If I already bought the gloves, the gloves are just the cosmetic. I should be able to match and match. Like so, I have I I got these I got these gloves, and let's say they come up with a football glove perk, and that football glove perk lets you throw things further. Like that's strong what, arm, that's strong arm. That's what it's supposed. That's what you in the store. It's just gloves. It shouldn't the the perk should not be connected to the gloves. Mm-hmm. The perk is the perk, but the gloves are the gloves. Yeah. You can pick a perk and then you can pick a pair of gloves that you choose to pick, not that oh well, 
the in the in this slot, these gloves are all this. Perk. You have to use these you gloves. Ha- yeah, like, nah, yeah, I should yeah. I should be the pick person. Let's say I don't want to wear gloves. Yeah. I just want my. Let's say I don't want to have shoes on. I want to be old old Frank Woods. With the with the with the uh, the thing and BO4 oh, with the shit. Yeah. Yeah, 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 and I don't yeah, want no yeah. sho- I don't want no shoes on, but I still want the dead silent perk. I feel like there should be an option for players to choose what type of equipment that they want to put on while still being able to pick the perk that they want to pick and not make it because if you go to the store and then you see like, oh, these are only for the you're gonna be like, but I don't want I want these gloves, but I, that perk is the worst, that's the worst perk in the game. I don't want that perk. I don't want that perk. I just, I just want, the, want gloves. the gloves, bro. Or make it an option to where you can buy the gloves and get the perk as well or there's just an option where you can just buy gloves that's some so i feel like this buy is gloves be and yeah. perk or just buy gloves and also can we please customize the color of the gear i that's not gonna happen you know you know that's not, that's not gonna happen you know that's not gonna happen. sledgehammer that's not gonna happen you know sledgehammer that, that ain't gonna happen bro can we please customize the color of the gloves that's not gonna happen. because I, I i'm going to be honest i am sick and tired of wearing army green charcoal gray Gloves, I'm sick of it. I I gotta, bro. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, bro. We're in the era now where it's the drip era. Like, let's be honest. That's why Fortnite has all of these crazy skins. That's why now Call of Duty, y'all coming out with all of these operators with floating skulls. Like, because it was supposed to be realism. They said we don't want to. That's what y'all said. That's That's what what y'all said. That's what y'all said. And then y'all realize that's not what we wanted. Right. Okay. So I I agree with you on that. I gotta agree with you on that, bro. Please. Because I'm trying to look good. See my well, my gear. Okay, so so D, I got this question for you specifically. So two perks are returning. Now I remember Ninja, but I did not have an opportunity to ever use Stalker. Um Ninja was in was in Cold War, correct? Ninja was in Cold War. Ninja Ninja was dead silence, but it first began in like Modern Warfare 2. No. Black Ops 1. So Ninja is Ninja is a staple is dead in the silence. game. Yes. Okay. Ninja and Stalker. First of all, D, I want you to explain what is the difference back in the day between Ninja and Stalker, and then ex- and then how does this per- how do these perks because they're perks now, not a, not a field upgrade. How does it change it from a field upgrade to perks? How does it affect the game? Um, I don't. For the most part, I don't really re- like. I knew Stalker like if you was crouched or you was aiming, you were just like strafing dumb fast. If you're mm-hmm. crouching, you're walking dumb fast. But like, I don't really like remember Stalker off the top of my head. But Ninja Dead Silence should always be in the game. Don't know why we took it out. Well, forever say that you should mm-hmm. either have the option to be loud or silent. Like, why do I got to be loud twenty four seven? Or why do I got to pull out a boombox? To pop my dead silence like it's just stuff like that like bro i just i just want to run without hearing myself right right like so of course that's the w like every everybody in the world wants hate, to be quiet bro I, I hate i hear what he's saying you know it's true hate, it's how he sees the game that always just makes me go like why does he no, it, it makes sense, but I hate the fact because I never thought about it like, oh, I don't want to hear myself run. I yeah. never, ever thought about it like that. That's because you got desensitized because of Black yeah. Ops 4. You used to rock it all the time, and after 2019 or during 2019, you just yeah. got used to it and, and got accustomed to yeah, only accustomed using to it, it now. Yeah. when you would pop it as a perk and not it just being on you. Yeah. So... Uh, okay, so we're, we're coming up to the last. Man. We're coming to the last part of the show, man. Make sure you, if you haven't dropped a follow, I mean, drop the like, subscribe to the channel. Make sure I'll do them things. Uh, D, what, what was you about to say? Bless her. No, I'm just saying that on top of that, like without Nin- like without Dead Science or without Ninja, how, however they're gonna label it, like yeah, you're just on certain like certain maps and certain lobbies, you're just scared to make a play because you just know you're getting sound hoarded. Like, I, like come on, bro. Like that's right. not real Call of Duty. Like. Back then, we used to have to use our brains. Like, people were separated for using their brains. Not just sitting there listening to everything you're doing. Like, come on, bro. Like, right. it, should, it, should be, it should be a balance to that, okay. which should never took it out of the game to begin with. So, it's just, like I said, it's, it's how he sees the game. Like, it's, he sees the game so different from how I see it because he's been playing for so long. You're just, you're just going to have a different opinion on how you feel about the game. Um, we're coming up to the to the end of the show, so I got a, I got 
I think I we got like two more questions. I got two more, two more, two more things that we that we, that we got brand new in the game. Not brand new. Again, these aren't new. Like no. these are these are old things just returning, <laughs> and we get so excited to call it new. And it's no disrespect, we had but it's the truth, years, bro. So it is new. Right. Okay. So red dots are returning back to MW. Now I haven't had we haven't had red dots since Colt, since Vanguard, right? Yeah, we haven't had red dots since Vanguard. No, there we have we haven't had red dots since. Here he Black goes. Black Ops Four. Okay, so yeah, Black Ops Four. Yeah, you're right. It is BO Four. Wait, it wasn't it wasn't Cold War, wasn't it? No, that was Fog of War. Yeah, that was Fog of War. Never mind. That was Fog of War. Um Red Thank Dots you, returning. God. Map voting is returning. Thank you. Thank you. Now I'm not forced to what play shoot called? house if I don't want to. <laughs> now what I don't have to play sad, underpass bro. if I don't want it's to. Sad, like this is sad like that. We gotta sit here and talk about this. This is common sense stuff. Why are right. these things taken out of the game, bro? Well, well, I felt like I do, I do understand why they would take it out of the game. They want people to play all the maps. Like, hey, stop picking the same maps and play other maps. But I do feel like this is the difference between Call of Duty and 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 like the other shooters that's out right now. It's like like Fortnite, no, not Fortnite, Apex. Apex rotates maps. It's always rotating maps. And people don't complain about the maps rotating. But I feel like with Call of Duty, Call of Duty is, was based off of multiplayer. That was his first thing. That was the first love for everybody who called. So when you went in the BR world, that's a completely different world. When you rotate maps, you can't do that in multiplayer. You are going to have trash maps in multiplayer. Every game. There could be eight baddies in a room. I'm talking about all tens. There is still the ugliest ones out of all the baddies. Hmm. What the, was the, that map in Bo4? You know what I mean. What the, was that map in Bo4? If I be like, real, if we be honest, Bo4 damn the, the, near didn't miss. There was one map, but the, 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 the one, know, one, the, the snow map. No, nah, it was a, it was. It was the, remember the snow? They had they? I think all yeah. they. Uh, let's say it like this. All their release maps were right. good, but yeah, all good. their DLC yeah. maps. Yeah, 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 yeah. But the yeah, snow, yeah, yeah, wait, yeah, yeah, the yeah. snow map. Yeah. The snow map was low key. Eh, there, there you could didn't be, like it? No, 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 it's not that I didn't like it. I'm with saying out of all of them, with the boat, right? Yeah, you're with the boat in the middle. I'm saying yeah, with the, remember, you remember how people? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, remember yeah, what people yeah, used yeah. to do? Grab Firestorm, run into the boat, and they just set the whole thing on fire and just and just camp or use torque. Yeah, and set up. Yeah, camping that, that little room. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay, even though there could be banger maps, it's <laughs> always gonna be the ugly duckling. Yeah, that's the true. Ugliest that's one. true. That's so true. I, what I'm saying is, and that's underpass from Modern Warfare 2 2009. Okay. That's underpass. Okay, so with map voting, map voting and red dots, these two things are returning back to the game. What does this do to multiplayer? Does this catapult multiplayer back up to being like, wait? If you are somebody that don't want to play BR, man, you could definitely just main multiplayer now because they didn't brought back. Like, how, how do y'all actually feel about multiplayer returning back to its original roots? I, I'll let in twenty twenty three, while I clean my eyes. Um, realistically, main ah, I mean <laughs> red dots. Red dots is a great right, thing. Right, yeah. Don't get me don't okay. get me wrong. Red dots. Thank you. Like, what? Why take that out the game? Like, right. But then again, still got skill based matchmaking. Okay. I haven't been confirmed if it was going to be in the game or not. So, yes, Red Dots is on map is good. But right. you got to remember, like, if you're going to be in our type of lobbies, the next man, next person going to be looking at the mini map just as much as you. So, Correct. like, but yeah, so every game is gonna be like competitive now. Like now, it's but it always should be like that. Like I shouldn't have to be able to be like I shouldn't have to come word for word, bar for bar, description by description right. of where this man is. Right. When my teammate could just should be able to look up top left and see someone is behind him. So do you not? You don't think that it's like a, a kind of a? Or I don't. I don't mean this in a disrespectful way, but I mean it in a way where it it's. When we didn't have, not having the red dots, it allows for people to have to use way more IQ. That's number one. Number two, you have to calm. And then number three, you can have more experimentation with your attachments. When you have red dots, 
you're limited to what you can use, especially if you're not using Ghost. So if I don't want to use a suppressor, I can't because I'll always pop up on the mini-map just for shooting my weapon. I'm penalized for shooting my gun without a suppressor. So I have to use Ghost. You don't feel like not having red dots on the mini-map allow for more, um, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, uh, versatility. You know what I mean? Like, what's your loadouts? Nope. No chance. Hey, I, I, then, I, like, I, I then, thought I set that like, question up pretty good. He still did. He that was a good that's question, tough. I, I thought that was a good that's question. A good question. Hey, it's a, that's it's a great question because, like, that's probably how some, that's probably how other people is thinking about it. Right, right. But, like, in the end, bro, like, this gives you the opportunity to play solo more. Like, you don't always need to be with somebody as good as you to right. get nukes or whatever the case may be. Because now you could just look at your top left. Like, right. So I mean that's a good that's a good factor of it, and then like if you want to use the unsuppressed, you just be aware that you're on the mini map. Like play, play a certain way to where you know you're on the mini map, and people is gonna look for you. Like okay. it's just gonna make you that much better because that's how you get better in COD. That's how we all got better in COD. Like right, right. more action puts you in better situations to get better, and that's how you just, that's how you just gotta look at it. Okay, and that's it. I mean, I mean that's 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 basically everything that we've seen so far. All the leaks. All the information that we have on MW3, man, we 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 got a lot. There was a it was a lot to talk about. Again, a lot of the stuff is not brand new. It's not brand new. Uh, the one thing that I did that we didn't didn't really touch on, but it's really not a big deal, was reload canceling. So being able to uh, That's a very uh, finally, big deal. That's I mean, a very big no, deal. Not that it's not a not, not that it's not That's a very a big deal. I, I, I take that back. Not that it's not a very big deal. It Shout is. Shout out to y'all, man. But also too, I did. There is a benefit in the new reload system that they did come out with. If you were already 75% done with the reload, you're continuing and finishing it. The problem with the reload cancel mm. is that once you cancel it, you got to start all the way over. Again. He has to redrop the clip again mm. to put the clip back in. But the problem is, is that if I had 30 bullets in my gun, I, unless I accidentally hit the square button, mm. I was trying to close the door. I get caught with a reload animation. Now I'm trying to run away and I'm trying to shoot, but you can't because now your gun's going to keep reloading and continue to reload animation. That is what was one of the biggest issues. I said to negate that problem, you should be able to, and this is this is on me. If you've played Gears of War, there are two reload animations. The all the way playthrough, guaranteed, it just takes three whole seconds. Mm. Or you... Click it, wait until you get that bar, boop, and I'm right back at 1.5 seconds. I didn't already read my reload on my weapon. You can get a perfect reload. I don't feel like fast hands should be, or sleight of hand, should be the thing to reload faster. I think that reloading should be a skill. You can either choose to reload your gun regular and just let the animation play through, or you can do the timed reload to drop the clip and reload faster to get back into the fight, and that kind of negates all of the the issues with the re cuz I just feel like there's no how would that there's look you said what how would that look in call of duty you got you could yeah like, you got to also look? Look, it, this is all right don't get me wrong it's a ahead, it's right. a it's a good idea yeah. this is a real but question again real question. you got to think you got to think cuz call of duty bro you got tacticals and lethals right right and then and then gears of war you got a weapons you got a weapon scroll to get to your lethals and tacticals Correct. so like when you hit reload and hit the rb button to get the perfect reload right. like say if you want to reload but then like you get caught off guard you want to throw like a throwing knife or a simtex you're not going to be able to do that until the reload until you either perfect reload or fully reload so that just causes okay. for like more problems if so you can know i say I, mean. I feel like the i feel like the punishment would be like if i if i like let's say you're playing like you guys play a uh, um tap con contextual tap I almost said consensual. That, that's whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Contextual tap, right? Yeah. So that means that you hold to reload, mm. tap to open doors, pick up weapons, right? Right. Okay. The way it will work is if you're doing con con <sighs> contextual Come on, tap. Come on, man. You would hold to reload. The bar would pop up, and you have to keep holding square. If you sprint, it will stop the end. It will, the bar disappear. You can still run and sprint and do all of that, that other, that other stuff. But as soon as you, when you stop and you plant your feet, now your character is no longer in that animation. You're just, you're just regular. When you go back to holding square again, you see the the meter pop back up. And when you, if you time it perfectly, especially each gun has a different, each gun has a different meter. 
because mm -hmm. SMGs clearly reload way faster than LMGs reload slower. You hold square, you get to about that halfway point, you release. If you release at the right time, you get the perfect reload. That perfect reload is of one, 1. 1.5 or two milliseconds to reload, two seconds to reload your weapon. Mm -hmm. But if you miss in any way, form, or fashion, especially if it's a very, very tight window, if you miss, your character kind of, he tries to go put the reload, the, 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 the mag in, you're going to miss the reload, and now he's trying to adjust it now so it goes from three seconds to, like, let's say three seconds to 3.5 or 4, mm -hmm. right? Like, there's a, pen, there's a big penalty. If you can continue to get it and you practice it enough, now you don't have to do why, why. That's what I don't want to come back. I don't want it to be a why, why situation because now why, why just means the first square is already guaranteed. You're tapping square, you're going to get a reload, and then you have sleight of hand. Sleight of hand already turns the reload to two seconds. So if you already have sleight of hand and now you do the why why you go from two seconds to one second or one point five seconds. That's I don't like that. I want it to be. It should be a skill gap in with reloading. This shouldn't be just something that you you're cheesing an animation to get a better animation. Mm -hmm. You should have to work for that animation. Yes, if you are if you're trying to break it, you either have to sprint first, like Deep Rob said. Like yeah, we'll kind of be broken because you got to hit R one. Well, everything should be based off square. Whatever your reload is, it should stay with that. It shouldn't change. Nothing should change. Keep it the same. Hold square, or I tap square and tap square again mm -hmm. to, to get my reload. And if I tap square and I sprint, if you want to break the animation, if you know you missed the timer, if you tap square and you missed it, just sprint out of it, and now your character stops the reload. You feel what I'm saying? Like there, I, I still want there to be a skill gap. Like I still want there to be a skill level. Like I, there's there's ways to breaking the, the 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 reload animation just in case I get shot at or I get pushed, because. Waiting for that reload to carry all the way through or using sleight of hand to get the upper hand, bro. Yeah, I just don't... Like, sleight of hand shouldn't be just reloading faster. Sleight of hand should be... it. Like, it should be the animation itself that's faster. Not just he looks like an alien. He looks like, like a magician when he's reloading. If I have sleight of hand, when I reload, the clip just drops. And you see him pull faster to reload. When you watch regular reloading... He grabs the clip out first, mm. then puts the other clip in. Slide of hand means I'm dropping this clip completely. Mm. And now I'm back. I'm reloading quick to get back to the gunfight. I think that slide of hand should be an animation change as well, too. Not just some super fast animation that looks weird. It should look professional. Like you're dropping the clip. That's the reason why the, the reload is faster. Not because your character looks like a like, like he's the flash and reloading quick. Doing the same animation, but it looks 10 times. Nah, I don't feel like... The, so the hand should be like that anymore. I feel like if that's the case, and they should, well, I don't know if they if they could or if they will, but it would be nice if they actually went back to the AW reload, if that was the case then. Because in AW, the reload, you can either tap square once to do a regular reload, take mm -hmm. the clip out fully, put another clip in, or you could double tap square, and that would be the fast reload where you literally drop the whole mag, and you do lose the bullets, the extra bullets that would that would be in that clip. Right. But you get your reload off faster. So, so. this wasn't. So that wasn't yeah, in the, NAW. Yeah. So why why isn't that made? All right, look, we go. <laughs> That's we're not a gonna great Cliffy this out. right there. That's look, a great hey, Cliffy. Thank y'all for watching the podcast. <laughs> if you feel like MW3 is about to be the greatest card. Or maybe not even the greatest. Let's just say it's just going to be better than MW2 because I don't want to do that. Drop a like and then drop a comment on which feature that is a returning feature or you feel that is a new feature is in the game that's going to take this game to the next level. Shout out to my guy D-Rob. Shout out to Jay. Make sure y'all follow us on all of our social medias. Okay? Y'all freaking, it's just D-Rob on everything. <laughs> With that being said, I love y'all. That's Train J. We'll see y'all next time.